1946, Winston Churchill used the phrase special relationship to describe the bond between the United States and the United Kingdom. And the mergers and acquisitions industry has certainly been the beneficiary of, of what has become the longest running love affair in cross-border M&A. We had the pleasure today of, of, of hosting several leaders of the M&A community active in the United States and the United Kingdom. And I was particularly curious to ask them to tell me more about the sameness, a term that we all often hear referred to when describing that relationship between our two countries. And in particular, what is it that's the same or different between the United States and the United Kingdom for M&A versus the United States and other international markets? Here's what they've had to say. Well, probably a couple things. I mean, one, the language being the same is obviously a huge help, not only from the standpoint of companies talking to each other, but also, frankly, from the standpoint of advisory teams working to help those companies do the deals. So that's one aspect of it. Uh, you have similar, similar legal structures, a lot of familiarity there. Um, and I think, um, you know, unlike other areas in Europe, the UK is just more open uh, to M&A from the standpoint of not being as protectionist as perhaps some of the other markets in Europe. And I think that's been a big facilitator between the two countries.